What's up, everyone? Um, today, we just got back from vacation a couple days ago, and I was walking around the yard, and I noticed that some of our wild blackberries are actually ready to be picked. So, I think I'm going to go out there today and try to pick as many as I can while I have time, and later tonight, we'll make some um, jam. So, let's go see how many we can get, and then bring them inside and weigh them. Just came inside from picking the berries. Measuring them out, 23.7. So then I'll take 23.7 ounces of sugar. I'm gonna do half and half. Now that I've measured out our sugar, measured out our blackberries, I'm gonna actually squish the blackberries until I get like a paste, then add the sugar. Doing this until I get a nice paste, and then I'll show you adding the sugar. All right, now that I got to this nice pasty consistency, I'm gonna add the sugar. And again, it's the exact same weight as the berries were. All right, so as you can see, I have my berries and sugar on there. We're gonna bring that to a boil. Um, have my lids over here my warming pot i already have the stove on just still very low and then we're putting our jars in the oven for 250. i'm not gonna do it for too long maybe 10 10 to 20 minutes or so i'm gonna keep starting this around get this to a boil and then we'll bring it down to medium heat for about 10 or so more minutes and then let it uh just like a simmer bowl after that, then we're going to end up canning them. All right, it's been about 20 minutes. No. And this done came to a decent little bowl. I turned it down to medium low heat and I'm gonna let it simmer and boil for about another 20, 30 minutes. And then I'll check it and do, a lot of people call it the wrinkle test or the finger test where you run the finger through it. But when I do that, I'll go ahead and take off the lids and bring out my jars. Alright, so I've had it down here for about 30 minutes on this slow bowl. I put some on the plate and let it cool off for a little bit. Let's try it out. See how slow it is coming back. Doesn't quite crinkle, but should be pretty good. So I'll let it cool off for a little bit, get my jars out. When I do my jars, I'll let this sit. This is sitting probably about 200, 205. The lids are gonna be warmed up. We'll turn those off. When I get my jars out, they'll be at 250. So that means when I put the put it in it should be all ready to go and sit there and then we'll let it sit and cool off well as I'm sitting here editing the videos I realized that my ending in the exit part of the interview uh, got cut off. As I tried to take the jars out of the stove, I went to adjust the phone and it turned off. So I went ahead and I took this um, jars out of the stove and dumped the um, jam into the jars, let them sit in the pantry for 24 hours. It's actually a little more than 24 hours. And then I put the jam in the fridge. So, came out pretty good. It's a little runny. I probably could have left it in the bowl or in the pot a little longer, and um, then took it out where it was doing the finger test. It could have been a little kept together a little bit longer, but tastes good. My wife and Blakely love it. So, um, pretty happy with how it turned out. Again, if y'all know or different ways that y'all do this, please leave a comment below. Um, make sure to try to like the video if you learned anything or if this is helpful. 
and hopefully after this video coming soon we'll have the um, squirrel hunt video and also was able to blow dart a squirrel so hopefully those two videos will be coming out pretty soon but hope y'all enjoyed it and as always god bless